The Trump and Biden campaigns are both paying close attention to the crucial battleground Pennsylvania. And Luzerne County has become something of a poster child for the state's swing districts. It's one of a handful of Democratic strongholds that surprised most pollsters by going red in 2016. Global's Farah Nasser spoke to a Pennsylvania senator about why he left the Democratic Party to sit as an independent. Meet the Utichecks, a last name that's been synonymous with the Democratic Party in Pennsylvania for a generation. My father, a, a, a Democratic leader here in Luzerne County for over 60 years, that's where my politics was born. That's the foundation of my politics. But for state senator John Utichek, 2016 caused a crack in that foundation, which kept growing. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. And when you demonize someone because they go to church on Sunday, because they hunt, because they're pro-Second Amendment or they're pro-life, and you demonize that person and tell them they don't have value, you're not going to get their vote. I felt I no longer could be a Democrat and represent the voice of those working class families. Now he just had to tell his elderly, staunchly Democrat father. He was very proud of my decision and, in, and with a twinkle in his eye uh, said, but by God, please don't become a Republican until after I die. Senator Utichek sits as an independent, the only one, but his view isn't unique. Women and men who feel they were forgotten turned this historically blue county red making little-known Luzerne County into a national symbol of the discontent that contributed to Donald Trump's 2016 victory. Joe Biden's been outsourcing your jobs. Both candidates have been wooing Luzerne. Biden, who hails from Scranton in the county next door, held a drive-in rally last weekend. It may come down to Pennsylvania. And in Luzerne County, politics is a hot topic. And he paid, from what I understand, at least... 200 or 300,000 in China. You're listening to fake news. Fake news. Fake news. fake news. I guess go by the facts. Senator Utichek is supporting Biden, but thinks Trump will win his coveted county. Uh, Vice President Biden is valuing the voters, working class voters, here in Luzerne County in a way that Secretary Clinton did not. And if Joe Biden wins Pennsylvania, he'll be the next president of the United States. That's what the Trump camp fears, and it's why he's holding a massive rally at the nearby airport Monday the night before the election. Farah Nasser, Global News, Washington.